Shopify added the ability in input settings to use a video from our files rather than having to host it on someplace like YouTube or Vimeo. This makes things way easier to manage, eliminating an extra step for a merchant or whomever to go and host that somewhere else just to pull back a URL and drop it into an iframe or whatever. This is really simple and easy to use. Uh, we're going to, in a little bit more of a developer e video, go through the process of adding to the existing section for video in Dawn, so that way we can now support this new video input setting. Let's do it. Okay, so if you go into the docs, you'll see that there is now um, a new setting here just for videos and it pulls uh, video object here and so yeah this is super helpful it lets us reference it we can even pull it as a dynamic source so this is really handy if you have things like um, maybe for a page or a product video or something like that, that you want to reference that way we can set it up as a meta field value kind of type thing too really cool uh, but what we're going to do at least is add this as an extra deal in Dawn. So the 7.0, um, I think is what we're working with here. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah. So 7.0.0. So different versions might have this built in, but at least at the time of this recording, they haven't built in the new input settings. So I thought, why not just go through the process of adding that? So this is something that would be really common um, of a job when you're working as a developer or a freelancer in Shopify rather than building out a whole brand new section, uh, you know, where we would just like, you know, essentially add another section here. Um, a lot of times what I like to do is just add an, an addition to the existing section, make it easier for merchants uh, to work with. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So I'm gonna drop back over into here. And if you get into the updated copy of Dawn, I'm gonna use the cloud-based editor. I don't typically use it, but for the purpose of these demos, it's really nice and easy not to have to like run some separate process and stuff. So, and it can all be done in here. So easy enough. Um, so what we wanna do here, this is just what it looks like. Uh, the video section here is over here in your files under sections, and then just the video.liquid file. And we'll drop in here. And if you scroll down, you can see all this fun stuff here. Uh, basically, it's set up so that way uh, it loads the image and the play button over top. We want to obviously maintain that exams, that same exact functionality. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of like add an if else kind of type thing where we're going to use a liquid conditional and say, hey, check and see if they use the file picker option for the video. Um, if they did use that, if they didn't, go ahead and use the default functionality here. And you can do this with a lot of just um, borrowed and updated uh, code and logic here. So I'm gonna scroll down here and you can see here for the image picker and cover image um, in these settings, that's over here. So you have the option on this um, and this is to support basically uh, best practices for like um, not immediately loading video. Video is a little bit heavier obviously. So, you know, not having to load that. So there's some lazy loading, fun stuff going on kind of type thing, but we're not taking the performance hit. And so, you know, we're gonna to wanna to maintain the same functionality. So what I wanna do, uh, just to make this really plain what we're doing here, let's go ahead and just do a header, content, whoops, yeah, there we go. New video, and a new video option. And let's go ahead and make sure we don't break this here. And another one in here for old video option. So I'm going to add this content under the new video option just so that we can see it. Um, and then it'll show up in our settings as well uh, in a way that makes sense. So dropping back into here for the video settings, go ahead and just copy this guy. That will be simple. And we'll jump back in. Add this, you can see, oh man, our formatting's all messed up and not pretty. I miss VS Code so much when this stuff happens. 
and this will just build in the actual um, setting itself. So that obviously we're not going to do anything. We've linked it up to anything. We've just added the option here. Now we'll go back here. We'll do a quick refresh. Not emphasis on quick. And you can see here, I've got, there's a video in here as I have like one video um, that I just uploaded here. And for those of you that are like trying to figure out where that comes from, um, if you go into this, you can go into your settings and then scroll down to files and you can upload them this way. So this is where you can upload your videos and whatever, um, just to see that, okay? Um, and then we'll come in here, let's go ahead and, whoops, sorry. Well, let's just remove this so you can see what this looks like. So the new video option is here, Shopify hosted video, that's the section setting that we added. We'll go ahead and select it and then you can grab it here Okay, nice thing about this is, so this is like with the new file picker, you can actually search. So this is on the image picker, the things that we want that hasn't been built in yet. Um, so if you name this something that you can actually find, uh, it'll actually pull up here and it'll sort through everything. Really, really nice. Okay, so you can see even though we've picked this, nothing happens. And so that's because we haven't uh, linked that up in the code yet. We just added the option to add these settings. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump back into the code over here and I'm gonna scroll back up and you can see there's a lot of this code here um, really it looks like way more complicated than it is really what we want to start looking at is from this no script option this is where we're loading in an image over top of uh, the uh, I'm sorry over top of the video here uh, this is just where that part begins so what we want to do here is find all that code so we've got that no script option that's for image fun stuff and then this deferred media same fun stuff so we're not loading those images those videos right away and then this is all the way down to the template and deferred media so from all the way down here let's just go ahead and grab all this okay and what we want to do now is just add a liquid conditional in here so if section.settings.video is not equal to nil, and something that trips people up sometimes here, make sure in your input settings, find out what happens like if it's not called. So had that happen where like, hey, it's checking to see if it's not blank, but like that's you know not necessarily working out or whatever. Like sometimes like you just make sure that you're actually referencing the proper term here. Um, so if it's not equal to nil, you know, we wanted to do a bunch of stuff you know, else. And then at the very end of this, we're going to drop all the way down where that deferred media was, where we stopped here. And you can throw an end dip in there. Obviously, we want to clean this up um, if we were in another code editor, but we're doing the best we can here. Okay, cool. So here's all of our stuff. We're actually not going to need iframe to get pulled in through the template here gonna pull that out um, we'll want a bunch of this stuff yada 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 and so here's where i want to start up here so if section that settings that video is not equal to nil and then we're pulling the stuff now what we don't want to do we don't necessarily want to worry about that cover image so the nice thing about the video i'm gonna drop into this guy here so with the video object here it actually gives you a preview image automatically. So let's use the preview image option and we'll cover what that looks like here in a sec. But what we wanna do then, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, we want to uh, reference this video and then obviously if we're gonna reference the preview image. So what this will look like then instead of cover image, a video dot preview image. Ooh, is that new? Started doing some fun little autocomplete stuff for me. That is handy. And I'm gonna back out of this a little bit, guys, just so that way y'all can see that a little bit better, maybe. Um, and here's what I want to do. Like, if I'm in my sections that video here, I want to replace the references that we had to the other items because I want to use our new stuff. Um, so same thing. We don't want cover image here. Um, Hopefully I can figure out how to speed through this and you don't have to just sit here and watch me.
All right, so I think I grabbed all those. Probably get an error here in a minute, so we'll take a look at what that looks like. But all right, now, now we're down to the template. So you can do this a couple of different ways. Um, basically, the way that I would recommend doing it is using the liquid tag we have for this. So there is, or I'm sorry, a filter. So we have a um, liquid filter here for video tags. And so, whoops, here we go. So optional supported HTML5 attributes for the liquid tag. So you can do everything from like autoplay and all this stuff. So I would just go ahead and grab this guy here. Again, this is in docs under the um, API reference for video tag. So what we can do is we can drop back into our theme here. And instead of media, we want section.settings.video. And then our video tag, autoplay cool because as soon as we hit the play button we're going to want it to just go ahead and start playing um you know looping you know probably yeah let's leave it on for now muted and controls all this fun stuff or whatever okay so yeah all right let's see what this looks like go ahead and save this guy okay it did save so far so good and cool we've got our preview image here which if you want to see what that looks like, you can just change that under the cover image here. See, but they don't like, use similar terminology necessarily. Um, but that's uploaded directly in here. So, um, you know, we can do it that way. It gives you just a reference there, but you need to update that. And at some point, apparently, I did that. <laughs> Uh, so you just come in here and change and upload your own. I've got alt text in here. Please include alt text on all videos. It is not cool to not to make things not accessible. That's what the purpose of alt text is, in addition to SEO benefits. Okay, so let's click on this guy. Bam. Okay. <laughs> We've got <laughs> an issue here with um, our sizing, so that doesn't look awesome. Um, let's make sure it's pulling in though so it is pulling in you know this is running just fine um probably what this is is we need to edit like if the video tag so it just doesn't uh basically take up more than um more space than it needs to here so real quick simple fix here so just do video max width 100 percent Obviously, this is not the most performant method and how I would typically do this or whatever, but be cool, please. And there you go. So you can see there our little missile tag here. Just went ahead and did that. Um, so now we have the option just directly within Shopify here. Um, if you want to add additional uh, video files and stuff like that, um, this makes it really simple, easy for merchants, uh, brands, marketing agencies, whomever you work with. Even maybe if you're a tech savvy uh, brand or merchant yourself and you want to drop in here, grab some of this stuff. Um, that's what I would try doing potentially. So working with this version of Dawn uh, and then yeah, not having to worry about uh, hosting this elsewhere. This all just works uh, directly with a video hosted in your Shopify uh, files. So let Shopify handle that mess for you. So I hope this was really helpful. Again, the purpose of this really is just to extend the existing functionality within Dawn. Rather than building out a brand new video section, um, the only thing that we did really was add in a couple of settings. We used existing HTML and logic rather than having to bring in another library or something like that. Uh, and again, this allows for you to host videos directly on Shopify, pick it from the file picker rather than having to worry about um, Vimeo, YouTube, whatever. Uh, kind of type thing to host and so that's always uh, positive right so hopefully this was helpful and see y'all next time